Hello. I hope uh, you had a, a wonderful uh, Christmas and a wonderful New Year's. Uh, speaking of Christmas, I'm happy to report that uh, of all the hunt drivers that were requesting to get home for Christmas, we were able to bat 100% uh, on that. So very uh, happy about that and um, congratulations and, and thanks to uh, the operations team and the, the entire hunt team. It's not an easy task and uh, so I'm glad that we were able to do that. In regard to uh, 2020, there are a couple new items that I wanted to visit with you about. Uh, the first one uh, deals with uh, Best Pass. In my last message, I had uh, talked about uh, how Hunt was going to be getting Best Pass after the first of the year, and that is indeed still on target. We believe that we will be able to transition to the Best Pass uh, toll system um, starting next week. Um, we're excited about this. Um, as I explained last time, Best Pass basically gives you toll coverage in the entire country, and so uh, that will save you time and uh, some inconveniences and we're excited about it. As far as the actual process, um, while our Best Pass transponders will look the same as Crete and Schaefer's, it's actually a different account, so they are not interchangeable. Uh, therefore, you'll have to come through the Omaha shop in order to uh, get the Best Pass transponder and turn in the Easy Pass transponder and get it assigned to your truck. So in the course of the next week or so, be watching for messages from either Heath um, Richards, our safety director, or from your driver manager on what works best for you. And we'll get that done. The second change I wanted to talk about for 2020 is the changes that were made to all the Hunt employees 401k plan. Um, by all employees, I mean office, shop, and company drivers. Um, effective January 1st, 2020, uh, the plan was changed so that every employee is automatically enrolled in the 401k plan with a 3% of your employee compensation as a contribution to that plan. Um, for those of you that weren't contributing 3% uh, before or at all, uh, this is definitely a new change for you. You can opt out of it. However, to opt out, you have to uh, sign an agreement, um, a form, and we have that form available for you. Simply call into our office and ask for Kelly in Fleets or Yale in Accounting and uh, they'll get you that form to sign. Otherwise, you will be enrolled at 3% effective January 1st. For those of you that were already enrolled in your 401k plan and contributing 3% or more, there's no changes at all. Everything will continue as, as has been. Uh, the 401k plan is an excellent way to save for retirement. It's just one more tool for you to save for that day. And so I strongly encourage anybody that can uh, participate uh, to do so. My uh, next topic is not a new topic. In fact, it's uh, a topic that's been around for as long as I can remember in trucking. And that is the occasional dropping of a trailer that is in need of repair or in need of an inspection. Um, this is on the increase over the last few months, and it is causing us some problems. So I need your help in, uh, in getting this corrected. As you know much better than I, for a trailer to be dropped that is in need of repair, um, it's really affecting the next driver. You're, you're pushing it off that inconvenience to the next person, which, which isn't fair. You certainly don't want it done to yourself. Um, the other issue that we have with it is the customer goes to use that trailer maybe even loads it and then we become aware of the of the repair that's needed and they have to unload it they may even have to take that load back away from us so it's an inconvenience um, and a hardship to the customer um, and the other reason I'll, I wanted to share that maybe you aren't all aware of but the CSA scores that uh, we receive one of the categories is for equipment maintenance and as trailers are found out on the road during DOT inspections to be in need of repair, that increases our, our CSA score in that category in a negative way. Um, and that has been happening, unfortunately, over the past several months. All of our other CSA uh, score categories are fantastic, but this one has been inching up. And that can also provide an inconvenience to you, the driver. Um, as that score increases, 
it's going to be more awareness on uh, the DOT side of things and more likelihood of you being selected for a DOT inspection. We're certainly not afraid of DOT inspections, but it does slow you down and provides inconvenience to you if that increases significantly. So please, as a team, let's all work together. Let's uh, get this uh, problem corrected. Um, if you see a trailer that is in need of repair, please stop and do one of two things. If it's during business hours, please contact fleets, either Kelly or Jess. If it's after hours, please reach out to road service. Um, depending on what the need is for that trailer, uh, the decision will be made how best to address it. But let's get that done and uh, it'll be better for everybody. So I need your help on that. Well, that, uh, that wraps up the, the first message of the new year. Um, I want to wish each and every one of you um, a very successful and very safe 2020. Thank you.